Okay, on to the next Skip the Line reaction, man. And this one is once again for Becky Nicholas, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is your second one of the Skip Lines. So I appreciate all the love and support in the sphere. Thank you very much. This one's called Terry Lynn Writings on the Wall. Or on the Word. Writings on the Wall, episode 6, Singer 2017. Now, there is a message saying, from the Singer 2017. Uh, okay, I've messed this up. Uh, sorry. It says do this one first and i did Dimash's one i didn't even obviously i don't read the messages first i actually just like react to as they come through uh and yeah okay i'm um, sorry becky i stuffed this one <laughs> I stuffed this one up i did the Dimash one first forgive me i apologize i, I did the Dimash one first with terry lynn and uh, Terry Lynn was good though, I, I must be honest, Terry Lynn was very good on that one, so yeah, I didn't see that, I didn't see that, so my bad, my profuse apologies, um, this one unfortunately is coming second, um, uh, let's, let's just get straight into it, Terry Lynn, writing on the wall, let's go, I hope that doesn't, that doesn't change much, Very James Bond sounding. I've been here before. I think this is a James Bond song. But always here the floor. I spend a lifetime running and I always get away. Mm. But with you I'm feeling something. To make me want to stay I'm prepared for this Oh, I love the orchestra, man to miss But I feel like a storm is coming If I gonna make it through the day Hey, there's the Dimash And there's no more use to run in Something I kind of could you break my fall? How do I breathe? How do I breathe? When you're not here, I'm suffocating. I want to Okay, okay, wait a second. Firstly, help me out here in the comment section. Is this, okay, I know the song, but is this, the, is this a James Bond song? Was this in one of the James Bond movies? It almost sounds like it would be in one of the James Bond movies. I'm not entirely sure. Secondly, his English is damn good, man. And he's delivering damn well in English, right? Look, you can see he's a damn good singer, right? He's an absolutely incredible singer. And he's doing this song unbelievable justice. Um, but his, his English is even better than Dimash's English. Like, the way he delivers it, the way he articulates uh, every word is really, really, really good. Look, Dimash has improved greatly on his English, essentially. In any case, I prefer Dimash. Oh, look, I, just, I don't care what Dimash sings. Dimash, <laughs> whatever he sings, I love anyway, right? Um, but I prefer his mother tongue. I think he just sounds the greatest. And uh, there's something about his mother tongue that just absolutely um, sort of levels everything up for me. But this is damn good. He's delivering very, very well. And the, when I heard him with the mash, he was singing Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, um, he was good there as well. But he's doing really well in the English. It's a beautiful song, this. Cause the writing's on the wall Yeah, what sounds James Bondy, man? I'm almost certain of it. A million shafts of glass They hold me from my past As the stars begin to gather and the lies begins to fade When our homes begin to shatter This is something that we afraid. Nice. I 
I really do like the inflections in his, vo- his, in his voice. You can you can see he's a professional singer. You can see he's got a, he's got these inflections in his voice that are very good, right? Professional level to a certain degree. The one thing that I don't feel he has for me is the the um, conviction in his delivery. Essentially, I kind of feel like the mash singing this piece of uh, he'd make you. Feel feel this i feel like he's just performing the piece and he's good at performing the piece but he's not making you feel this piece does that make sense to you to you i i, I don't know like i i think there's you know it's it's it's, it's, it's very rare to get an artist that has got all of those attributes all packed into one right where they are good singers like he is right and then also good performers right on top of being good singers good performers um and specifically on stage performers like where they literally sell it like they literally draw you in to the emotion of it right and there are very little who have that ability to do that and i can say damash is 100 percent one of them laura fabian good lord <laughs> like wow laura fabian draws you into her storytelling right and so does damash there are very few oh who are she you man also, it's that stage performance. There's something about it. So I don't know. I haven't watched much of Terry Lynn, but I do think that you know that if he works on that stage present, he really needs to try and draw you into that story, right? With his body language. The body language is a big thing, and there isn't much movement, and there's not much motion from Terry Lynn, right? It needs to be more. It needs, he needs to go deeper. Right now, I kind of feel he's he's kind of on the surface, is a bit shallow um, on the. On the sort of body language, right? He needs to go deeper with this. He needs to draw you in personally. That's my my personal opinion. Take nothing away from this guy. I'm not bashing the guy, right? I think the guy's a phenomenal singer. You can see he's a, he's a, he's a professional singer, right? Um, but he doesn't sell it. He doesn't sell it as well personally. <laughs> Very good. He's very good. Hey. For you, I have to risk it all. Tabash just feels music even if he's not doing it. Like even if he's not the one who delivering it, you can just like he's just he what you like that that oak, bro. That oak is born for this. Seriously. You can see there's people that absolutely and utterly feel music, and there's people who listen to music, right? There's a big difference over here. He's good, man. He's good, man. No Beautiful. He's good, man. He's damn good. And I just, I just feel, I feel like he holds himself back a bit. I think he, he's, um, he, he's restricting his motion a bit. In, in, in his delivery um and i, I feel like he's a, li- he's a little bit rigid a little bit rigid i think he needs to just sort of let let go a little bit more and, and that 
if he if he lets go of himself like just by like 30 40 percent he changes the dynamic of that track by a hundred percent essentially like he needs to just let it go but that that piece over there deserves a like a really hard-hitting delivery that's and i just feel like he's he's, he's a bit too controlled you know it comes with being a professional singer that's why i say it's really difficult to be a professional singer and to be a good singer and to be a good performer because like the the two kind of almost like counteract each other essentially it's almost like you want to be controlled because you're a professional singer and you don't want to sort of like lose yourself a bit where you, you lose a bit of the 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 vocal performance um and then on the on the flip side of that coin it's really being animated and really trying to sell that story and when you can couple those together that is the the, the epitome of a top tier artist for me personally you guys let me know if you agree anyway i love you all please let's say please healthy i'll catch you in the next one peace